twofold. One, there is no way on earth a lot of the troopers would be uh, ignoring new rules that they've been told to enforce. They just wouldn't do it. Why? Because they'd be up on a charge. Uh, and secondly, they would get massive pressure from their fellow trooper colleagues. What the hell? No, that... Uh, whoa. Some, some little kid just grabbed the officer's weapon. Do you hear that? I'm not sure if, if the uh, microphone picked it up. Officer saying don't touch and his parents saying don't touch. He just walked over to the officer, put his hand on the gun. What the hell? Like, I'm shocked. I'm genuinely shocked. I'm almost as shocked as I am about the fact that in front of me there may be, I don't know, 200 people. But behind me there are even more. I came back in because the police started telling everybody to get back. However, now I'm in the yard, no one's moving. Even the massive dude, the really tall dude, is not moving. Oh, hold on a second, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Let's have a look and see if the uh, troopers are mounted up. I don't think they are. No, 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 they're still not mounted up. Actually, wait, here they come. Here they come, folks. Here come the first two Blues and Royals. Right, I'm getting myself way back to avoid getting in trouble here. And the problem now, look at this, look. <laughs> Everyone that's on the line is now going to get super upset that everyone else is going to stand in front of them. Look at this. He's trying to argue. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> He's actually trying to tell the officer that there's the white line. Hello, you guys in the back, move back, please. We knew it, didn't we? We knew it was going to be like this. Uh, is, that, is that good or bad? <laughs> no, but I mean, this is just completely ridiculous, though. No? I mean, everyone's coming along to see or hope to see Ormond, but he, he's not hes not there. Sadly, not. No Ormond. Oh my gosh, look at this. I've been trying to explain to people. No idea what's going on this morning. I don't understand how they don't understand the white line that's behind you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look, you've got three officers trying to tell everybody to move back. <laughs> oh, oh, loving this. Look at this. He said, uh, Move back or I'll send you out the yard. I mean, there are four of them. They could take an arm each and a luggage, couldn't they, and start dragging people out one by one? Definitely. Ouch. I'm really hoping we're not going to get in trouble for being a kind of not really behind the line, but kind of. In fact, strictly speaking, we're breaking the rules right now, aren't we? No, I, I did get in trouble once that the, uh, the lady couple once kept saying behind my arm, I know, I'm standing here. And it was the <laughs> The thing is, um, I like her because she's really, really firm and oh, fair no, with no, everybody. Yeah, no, she's good, yeah. But I haven't seen her for a while. Um, no, no. It's been a good couple of months, I would say. Wow. I think, guys, what happened is that so many people uh, that were waiting for some time on the line uh, didn't, and understandably didn't want to move because they've now got no view. <laughs> people that were on the line are now about 10 tourists back uh, behind the line. Oops, never mind. Yeah, my people are all chaperoning, I think they disappeared. <laughs> Stuck in the corner. <laughs> to be honest, I actually like it when, uh, when they don't push them that hard and then the trooper comes out and uses the horse. One way or another, they're going to move, aren't they? Yeah. Such a pity about Ormond, that is a real, real tragedy, ladies and oh, gents. Not here, no, I'm 99% yeah. certain he was not in that group. Plus, we've got no other group out the back, so... Do not worry, guys, he's not been sent uh, to an abattoir in France, OK? I know a lot of you have been worried about that. We've heard rumours that he's been sold <laughs> uh, to the French for a royal stew, but it's not happened, I promise. He's, uh, he's still at Hyde Park. The Blues are really making uh, everybody wait, aren't they? Look massive anticipation here uh, about what's going to happen. Oh. Somebody just shit. <laughs> I just made a jump. <laughs> uh, somebody just jumped a lot when the, uh, when the gates opened. I mean, I get the apprehension. It's kind of exciting, I guess. I feel quite privileged, guys, to, uh, to bring you a front row seat view today without anyone in front of the camera. So how busy it is. That flickering light, folks, uh, is because they had a very, very late night party after the uh, the of the bronzes. 
apparently uh, Carl Cox uh, was on the decks. All right, here they come. Oh, wait, that's not Ormond, is it? No, it's not. Sadly, it's not. Nope. Oh, hold on just a moment, guys. I think... One second, I'm trying to hold it still. But that's odd, isn't it, actually, in this weather, yeah? No cloaks. We've got a... I, I think it's him. Uh, a very popular troop on the uh, on the right. I wonder what they're thinking, and also what the horses are thinking when they see this many people. Look at this beauty. I swear we haven't seen this one before. That's a very, very unique marking. That star. Majestic, hey, look. Hundreds, hundreds of, uh, of smartphones in the air. If you were to Taylor Swift concert, to be honest, wouldn't you? Popularity is mind-boggling. They changed the regiment. Uh, this regiment lifeguards have finished. The new regiment in the in the dark blue, the Blues and Royals. Oh. Here's the fun moment when the guy can come out. Yeah, that's a, that's a very How good often point they actually. Changing, do you know? No, they they just changed the regiment. Folks, get ready for it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, he could have massively screamed in their faces. He really could have done, but he didn't. He, he just chose uh, to push through. That was that was actually really funny. I, I really thought he was going to scream loudly, yeah, but for whatever reason, he decided not to in the end. Let's see which uh, gates from the Blues have got, folks. The tourists have closed up that gap they just uh, left a moment ago again. Let me get out of everybody's way. Don't want to get in any tourist uh, shots. It's not really fair. Oh, this is the point at which everybody swarms forward. Look at this, look. Get ready for it. Look. Oh my good lord. It's crazy busy here today. I haven't seen this many peasants, guys, since I watched Les Miserables. Okay, we're going to get the blues walking right into the camera. Ho, ho, ho. Good morning, troopers. Oh, loving, oh, okay, we've got some uh, some familiar, experienced faces. Yeah, this is good. This goes very well for, uh, for Gatesman duties today. There we are. So that is the lifeguards finished. Relieved. Interesting enough, Blue's not in uh, cloaks. I find that interesting because the weather forecast for today is rain. Plus it's actually really cold, so I'm genuinely surprised the Blues have turned up without their cloaks. I mean, they arrived in their cloaks, I'm surprised they removed the cloaks, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so here we go, just finishing up. And then our brand new Gatesman will emerge. There will not be a massive shout by the Gatesman because the officers are too on it this morning in terms of telling people to make a space. Right, that's done. Gatesman Chitsman from the lifeguards have been relieved. Here comes our Blues and Royals Gatesman. As I said, guys, there will not be a big shout, I'm sure, because there are too many police there. They would have told everybody to make a space. I'm not sure I recognise this fellow. Yeah, the police officer, look, is telling everybody to move. Wait, sorry. Yeah, nice and clean, straight through it. There we are. He made it straight to the arches. Boom. Oh, did you really? Ah, okay. Does he look like fucking new? No, I don't. Don't know. Five regiments. Not too good. Yeah, I think he's a new one. 
Right, could, let's see. There could be no medals, no coronation. Ah, that, and that as well, actually, yeah, good point, no medals. Interesting, right, let's see. Right, see you a bit later. <laughs> Cheers, Barry. Okay, I'm really trying to be careful here, not to bump into anyone. Kids, adults, buggies, whatever. I will try, if I can, folks, and it's not going to be easy because there are just too many people, uh, to get the lifeguards riding out. But my priority, obviously, this morning is what's happening at the front uh, and to see what sort of response and enforcement levels we get from the Blues and Royals boxmen. Uh, I think I will probably, in all honesty, let me just see who it is on the horse here. Actually, it's not the fellow I thought it was. Very, very similar to another trooper. Looking thoroughly magnificent, I must say. Look at this. We're a little bit zoomed in. I hadn't even realised it. Let me get into a good spot in front. There we are. Now, oh God, it's starting to rain, folks. Would you believe it? Just my luck. Okay, let's see if we can ID the horse. Not optimistic, I'll be honest, people, but let's see. Amazingly to see the Blues and Royals back in the box. The horse just nodded. Did you see that, guys? I, honestly, the horse just nodded when I said that. Now, look, his ears are perking up. He's like, welcome back. Horsey, welcome back to you, boss. Right, let's see if we can get the hoof number, guys. Hold on. The trouble is, it's, uh, I've got like, some water on my phone screen, so it's very, very hard to zoom in. I've got an idea of which horse it is. Let me open the, uh, the list and read it out to you. While some tourists don't get in the box. There'll be a part two this morning, guys, focusing on the boxman, so uh, do not stress if we don't capture too much in part one. Just a moment. Right, I think... Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I have no idea how the uh, how the Blues and Royals box number will respond. Uh, that to me looks like she's in the box. Of course, I believe, and again, folks, it's really difficult to be 100% certain when uh, the numbers are a bit mushy. I'm pretty sure it's Thor. This horse. Feel free to correct me, but I'm, I'm yeah, I'm pretty pretty sure it's Thor massive number of Chinese stories here today actually. I'll have a quick look at the other one because once uh, everybody leaves the yard and floods to the front there'll be no space at all to get even closer to the, uh, to the boxman. I don't actually recognize this boxman. That doesn't mean he's new it just means that I don't recognize him. Here we are let's see. So we're on the side with the sign. Golly gosh, ladies and gents, it is chilly this morning. <laughs> However, I'll be glad to see feet are outside the box. Look, on both sides. going to happen when um, when there's such a large crowd of people pushing and thronging that there's not really enough space uh, to avoid somebody getting pushed into the box. That's where things will get interesting and if somebody goes to touch the horse. Because the problem is that even with this new box it's very easy to still touch the horse. I can't yet get close enough to take a picture of this horse's hoof number because there's a line of five other people filming to my right. Unsurprisingly. Bing pong. At least for the moment, everybody's behaving themselves. Hi. Boss, you're right in my camera. <laughs> Thank you. Let's see. 
Oh, he's left his luggage. Let's see. I mean, strictly speaking, he's in the box, but we don't know what's going to happen, do we? If only everyone, and I mean everyone in both regiments, uh, were as absolutely hammer-like as those first two lifeguard troops on Wednesday. That glorious consistency we saw of those two uh, history-making troopers. They didn't even realise they made history. Well, that's uh, the Frenchies behind me. They realise that uh, there is somebody here with uh, the, uh, the, uh, the TikTok live. And luckily enough, they're not going to be silly and start dancing in front of the horse like uh, like the other day. I just noticed a very interesting thing in the yard. What's this, folks? What on earth is that purple thing there on the floor? That's that's very weird. I have no idea actually whether or not the uh, the police have noticed it. There's like some weird little purple thing on the floor. I'm going to go mention it to them actually because it doesn't look as though it's supposed to be there. Very curious. Problem is actually they look like they're really busy right now with uh, with the tourists and stuff in the yard because that's just odd. Let's look at it from the other side. Very curious. What, what is that, folks? What do we think that is? I have absolutely no idea what that is. The, uh, the guard seemed a bit uh, vexed that I was poking the camera toward the fence, understandably. There's no one I can mention it to right now, so I guess it's going to have to wait. I mean, I dare say they've seen it on the CCTV, so it probably isn't anything important, but it just looks wildly out of place. Very curious. Life cars are taking ages, aren't they, to get uh, mounted up to ride out. Oh my good lord, there are like so many new people here, folks. It's ridiculous. I say so many new people, I mean just like some very weird looking people that are holding a gimbal. I think everyone and anyone has realised now that if they turn up here and film this, yes, they'll get you know they'll get some views, they'll get some people watching it, etc., etc. But I think they're thinking that for whatever weird reason, if they do, they're going to get rich. And I don't understand where that fallacy has come from because it's an absolute nonsense. I wonder if everybody thinks that if they film a bit of you know horse cars and some horses, get some views, they're going to end up being the next Mr. Beast. It's like hello, it doesn't work like that. Second, if you're filming it silently, not saying anything, then uh, fundamentally, uh, it's probably a little bit less interesting. I'm sorry guys, got a lot of people walking in front of the camera this morning, like a lot. And way, 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 way too many new people. To be honest, actually, I think it might not be a bad thing. If so many new people arrive and start getting so much in the way that the tourists are not able to you know, get anywhere into the horses. I think that that will be the point, the tipping point at which everybody gets banned. And I personally will not have a problem with that. Hello, horsey. It's a damn shame, actually, that we can't name this one. Horse, the uh, hoof story is very clear, but I can't get directly in front of too many people in the line, including the, uh, the Chinese Fonzi. I don't like to stand in the line, it just looks weird, the optics are odd. Anyway, here come the lifeguards, departing. I have absolutely no idea, to be honest, folks, why uh, there are so many umbrellas up, it's not even raining. Horse Guards 3D this morning, eh? Wow, wow, wow. Crazy.
This dude over here in the green coat. Uh, I think the guy asked the guard if he's allowed to go closer beyond the chain. Obviously the guard's like, no you can't. Shaking his head. That looks a bit weird to be honest. Obviously he's going to push himself over, no? For us. <laughs> Where are you from guys? Where are you from? I'm from Kazakhstan. Oh, you're from Kazakhstan? That's the to Poruski, that? Ah, how short. What did you say to the card? What did you ask the card if you can go closer for a picture? When you uh, spoke to the, the soldier, uh, what did you say? I'm from Poruski. 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 Uh, yeah, I just this, uh, but uh, yeah, I just must be a long, long, long time ago. Yeah, a long time ago, long, long time ago. <laughs> oh, uh, okay, so at the front, you're asking about the horses. Okay, so they, they've left, the horses have left, they've gone back to barracks in the high bar. They're, those horses that with the red soldiers, they're finished, they're done. So they left to ride back to like the home place where all the horses. It's a video block, that. No, it's uh, one second. At uh, at YouTube. No YouTube, what? No. At. Oh no, sit down. Ah, we're filming it, that. Uh huh. Yeah, you guys will be in the video. You're in today's video. <laughs> Yeah. All good. Thank you, guys. Good to see you. Thank you. Super nice, in fact. Uh, Kazakh guys, military Kazakh guys. Interestingly enough, didn't realize that at first. That's maybe why he felt a little bit more uh, able to to be a bit cheeky with the guard. Let me mention that purple thing. Sorry, can I just tell you something? I don't know. I noticed that purple thing over there that would it's look. From the event, yes. Oh, is it? Okay. I thought I'd better mention it. Okay. Uh, it's been left over there from the event last night, that weird purple thing on the floor. Okay, so welcome, guys. Uh, welcome anyone else that is watching from spectacularly, naturally beautiful Kazakhstan. Damn, it's annoying that my Ruski Yazik is so rusty. Five years ago, I could have had a good conversation with them, poor Ruski, but not anymore. I might actually, guys, at some point, if I do decide to do this in a European uh, part of the channel, uh, I will go to Russia. I know a lot of you want to say, but it's not in Europe. But hey, I mean, it's kind of half in Europe. Uh, I would love, 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 love to show uh, to show you guys around Moscow. Oh, oh, what's going on here? Something. Anyway, yeah, welcome, guys. Uh, to the channel. Good to meet you. Let's see what Shire. Oh, this is waving to the horse. <laughs> he said, that's my horse. <laughs> oh, sorry guys, I forgot to tell you. I think he asked, I think he asked the guard what he asked me. Uh, where, where were the horses going? The ones that, the lifeguards, where, where did they go? Why, why were they leaving? <laughs> That was his question, which uh, unfortunately I couldn't really uh, answer <laughs> in Russian. Damn it. I still want to get an idea on the other horse uh, in this part, ideally. Oh, it's really cute to see people edging forward, look. <laughs> right on the line. Like one inch away from... Uh, and breaking the uh, unofficial rules. <laughs> Love the look on that guy's face. You can tell he's enamored by the beauty of the horse. And thought is something of a beauty. For some reason, actually, and I, I know it's not going to last. Obviously, the cobbles are nice and light coloured now because they've uh, they've been reappointed. <coughs> but repointed, sorry, not reappointed. Repointed. The brickwork has been repointed. But once they get uh, all dark and dirty again, I think the police horses are coming through. It won't look quite as uh, as picturesque. Either actually, the police horses are not coming out. I wonder why they've opened the gate. Oh, 
Ah, hold on. <laughs> These bollards, honestly. At some point, they're going to have to uh, probably replace them. Look, there's someone else here. Apparently, they've broken again. This guy's a workman. He's on the phone talking about whether or not the, uh, the bollard will go up and down. In the middle of the road, I've just noticed this fellow as well, guys. It's the doorman, or one of the doormen, uh, from Raffles. Look, trying to get a taxi for a rich customer who doesn't want to get their nice little Chanel two-piece wet. Hey, I can understand that. Right, one second, let's see if we can get that hoof number. Can't see it with a naked eye, but let's have a little look. This horse has got a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful marking. In fact, borderline unique. Let's have a look. Oh, everybody I'm hearing speaking Russian today. Is it a Russian day? Maybe there's a holiday. All right, I see the number, I think. Oh, okay. Now, wait. I'm going to move back a minute in a second uh, before giving you the name, guys, because there are too many people next to me that will hear it. <clears throat> Let's just say this is we haven't seen for a, a good amount of time. In fact, so long, I'm going to take a picture of him while I'm here. I would say it's been months since we've seen this horse. I'm not really keeping the horsey diary these days, but I don't remember seeing him for a long time. He is an absolute beauty. I think I just got a couple of amazing pictures of this horse. Uh, if I move the phone away, guys, so people can't hear me. Uh, the horse is Norseman. I'm 99% certain it's Norseman. We have seen him before, a long time ago. Very, very, very distinctive. Very distinctive, that mark. Which I'm guessing is, is it a star, people? I'm guessing it is. I mean, it looks like a star. He's spectacularly beautiful. I mean, really, super kind looking eyes. The, uh, the horse that is, folks, not the trooper. Although I'm sure he's also a lovely fellow. I'm also generally surprised that despite it hanging behind me, uh, no one has yet tried to steal my umbrella. Lucky me. Now, the interesting thing is going to be what happens when the palace crowd arrive. Now, shortly I'll be finishing up with part one. And uh, there will be a part two if we get a massive palace deluge. I'm not optimistic, to be honest, because I think probably there would have been a wet mount at the palace and a lot of those people are the people that ended up in the yard here. So I don't think we're going to get a deluge. If there will be a part two, it will be linked in the description uh, of this video below. But I'm pretty optimistic from what we've seen and the way the troopers are you know, standing the horses way outside the box, right in the middle, that if we do get people taking the you-know-what or overtly breaking the rules, I think we'll get some serious shouts. I think rigid discipline, folks, is what we can expect from the Blues and Royals. Tomorrow, we will know for sure, because it's going to be sunny, and after a week of rain and mush, it will be packed, absolutely packed. I'm sure it will be packed outside generally, uh, including here on Horse Guards. So not long to wait until we find out just how stern uh, the enforcement is going to be here at Horse Guards. They chose some real, real, real nice horses to bring back there. Great to see Thor, that Norseman, wow. In fact, he's probably got the most distinctive facial markings uh, of all of the Blues and Royals horses, uh, except for Ormond. Interesting enough, in the yard, I see there's one officer in the yard. Oh, hold on, oh, maybe I spoke too soon about the palace crowd. Look, this is the first lot arriving from Buckingham Palace. Now, in terms of the troopers, uh, just notice that this trooper is going to do his rounds at the time there's a massive number of people in the centre of the yard. I don't know how this is going to work. Oh, it was almost me. Oh, there's me thinking that everyone else is going to get in trouble. It was almost me. He took it super wide. I'm 
annoying is somebody's playing super loud videos. Oh, oh. Mr. Banana Yellow Mac had a very narrow escape. I do wonder though, actually, if, uh, if you're going to choose to dress as a fruit, I would go with a strawberry, uh, maybe a kiwi, a banana? Come on, be more creative. The tourists are doing a good job of getting themselves out of the way pretty quick. Look at this. Girls like hello. She's kind of like, how can I help you? I'm busy getting a picture here with my friend. <laughs> Actually, I better get myself out of the way. Because right now, I'm uh, in a precarious position. Wow. Oh, we did get a makeaway. There it was. Blondie got a makeaway. Oh my gosh! A sea of umbrellas. It's not even raining. They look delighted actually, the girls look super uh, happy that that just happened.